Hey, this is Essie Nathan, and this is my third Reggie Retro Sprite tutorial video. You saw me do the Floor 34 background, you saw me do Dr. Carter Sprite, and now you're seeing me do a uh, the Guard Bot Sprite, which will be featured in probably at least one or two sections of Jolt Tower. I may have a few elsewhere thrown in the animation when I get to that part. As you see, I grabbed this electric hover robot thing from Mega Man 3, I believe. I don't know Mega Man games well enough. I don't know the characters, the NPCs, the bad Betty Bots, whatever. Because it's not something I'm familiar with, but I do know they make really good robot sprites if you want to customize something or just or just leave them stock or whatever. And I've used them numerous times uh, through sprite animations and through the Reggie Retro project as a whole. Uh, I'm grabbing bits of robots because I'm trying to build a unique and original custom uh, custom robot for use in the animation. Like I said, in the Jolt Tower, Jolt City uh, level. So I have a head. With eyes that works, I think the evil that looks really good for a head. Now I have to whittle this down. I have to do a lot of deleting, cropping, and the, some of the most useful tools in your arsenal when using MS Paint for doing sprite work is the eraser, which you can also turn into your pixel tool, which uh, you saw in the Dr. Carter video, the Dr. Carter uh, sprite tutorial. Whittle it down to where you have a decent frame of the uh, a different a decent black frame uh, black outline to the portions you're trying to. Uh, crop into something useful for a customizing job. Um, like I said before, like the most common sprites I use through this series are Mega Man or or Mario. Um, very handy, very good sprite sheets I use, and then turn into my own my own things for my own use. So now I want to grab this portion, just that little bit of shoulder. So just crop out what you don't need and have a functional thing. You don't want to have any overlapping pixels or where it looks screwed up. Um, and you erase this bit, but make sure you don't lose that line. You want it, as, you want it as, as precise as possible. If you miss a bit, it's not too bad because you can always go back through and add and, and, and adjust it if need be with the eraser using it as your pixel tool. Um, again, more than leading, just trying to get that to where it forms up a decent looking shoulder. Erase that. And once I'm done putting all this together, I will do the the coloring. Right now, I'm just sort of doing a, a custom build robot. I, I'm a, I'm a um, scrap metalist, art scrap metal artist when it comes to uh, robot sprites and Mega Man apparently. So going down again, this is sped up. This took about 40 minutes to do in real time, but I'm double. I'm I'm cutting that in half by speeding up to two uh, x in normal speed. But even then, it's still a lot of work. Um, and this is just building the core. I'm going to be doing three run sprites, a couple standing sprites, and then a sprite that shows that uh, the, the guard bot's been hit by when Reggie Retro fights him in in the level, in the animation, in the episode. Um, as you saw, the head didn't quite work by itself, so I have to grab a part of the same sprite. So this guy's going to be getting a lot of use. And now I'm going to crop that down. I don't want any of this additional, his little electric plug weapon thing. Again, I apologize for Capcom fans watching this because I have no idea what half these things are called. Actually, I don't know what any of these things are called, short of the uh, the boss sprites and Mega Man. Um, sort of the main characters, I don't know who who's, who's what is what. All I don't know is I like using these sprites because they make good robots and they're fun to play with because you can do this kind of stuff. I mean, this is clearly not what was ever planned when Capcom created this game. Um, so I'm I you saw I have the one where his neck is sort of bent downward. That's going to be what I'll use for a um, running when he's running. So his head, you know, basically his his head hunched down. And this is going to be sort of like the up his standard stand. This is what his what where his neck will be like when he's just standing upright in a little in a little pose before he actually sprints. And you have the animation. Um, I'm going to get another sheet of Mega Man sprites to try to find something else I can use. There's tons of sprites I can use. This is Mega Man 2. Again, um, spidersresource.com is a good place. There's a few other sites that I get them from, but Spiders Resource is one of the better ones. See, there's all kinds of things here because I want to find a mouth. You know, I make the head a complete head. And you notice those legs don't really work good with that torso, so I may come to look for something else. Just, re just replicating the head so I have numerous ones to work with. And line that up so it's in a good spot with his... Um, with his head, so his neck is attached as it should be. Re re uh, replicate that, and then so so make sure it stays linear. So when his so there's nothing, no really jump, nothing really jumping, no pixels kind of out of shape or whatever. Uh, still trying to find a decent looking 
lower jaw. I can grab this. I've used this for things in the past. But see, it doesn't really work with that. Okay, let's try this one again. Scroll down. Okay, you see this guy right there. I like that. That lower jaw. They magnify it. I think that works good. Now we just got to do some customizing. No, see that works. Yeah, see that looks good like that. Okay, now we delete or and fill in white out whatever we don't need. So we just have the plain lower jaw with a little bit of a circle, which actually still looks kind of good because it looks like it's. Yeah, that looks good. Line it up so we have a good, a good, perfectly matched um, back line there, and then just pop it in. Make sure it works. So yeah, boom. See like that. That's how you do it. Same thing with this guy here. Yeah. Yeah. Just basically copy that and then there we go. Pan it over. Move those over because we're not using those. We may not even use them when it's all said and done. Then replicate the torso a few more times because it would leave me. Now I'm gonna see if these legs work. I've used these for a few characters, like I said. Um, they're not. Oh, it, it, it kind of like I kind of like it, but with all the mass that this guy is gonna have, I kind of okay. We're gonna match up the the neck to the torso, connect things so he has a, a fully formed. Yeah, see that? I like that. So it's like he's standing upright. Then when he's angry, he hunches down and charges Reggie Retro. Um, now I want to build another one because I want to have a hit. Because basically those are two standard poses. But then when he gets hit, I have to basically build now um, a different basically chain link, a different basic um, neck sprite. Um redo the pixels of this bit and make sure it lines up. And you notice each section, each little neck has seven seven squares. Wow. Square. So I want to make sure that's seven. So you want it, everything good. Keep grabbing what you can. Flip it around. Make it look decent. You don't want it to be too wonky. And then we flip it. I'm doing a lot of flipping, but I still want it to look a little more different. Erase anything you don't like. But see, I, I, I want to kind of change that so i'm going to take this bit again do some rotating but that last bit the little part that it connects to the head i want that to be completely vertical because that'll be his hit sprite when he gets hit he gets hit hard so again i'm grabbing more of this to sort of fill in make it seven that's six more or less and then when you grab this delete that bar and then put that in and then there is your seventh link and then this guy, we need to rotate. We don't want to lose that. Flip, flip. There we go. And then on vertical, on, on uh, transparent that. There we go. And then we have an up head sprite. So those are three basic things we need. And then I can pretty much just replicate um, that one, the run, the run torso head combo. And now I need legs or maybe some arms first, but I, I kind of want to use these, the little electric plug thing. I mean, I like that. That can be a good hand. I just have to do some tweaking on it like I've done for numerous things. But the only problem with that is I don't know how well it's going to work with the finished project. Maybe this, I kind of like this from that same torso, uh, the same spot we got the torso from. Just do, again, some adjustment and editing. Delete the green. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe maybe drop drop the hand. Well, yeah, let's drop the hand because he's not going to be using that. This is an experiment. Again, when I'm doing something like this, where I'm doing multiple things, and it's not human. Um, if people are asking how I did the sprites for like Car Talks or Frizo, those two bad guys, I honestly don't remember because it's been so long, and those those are such involved sprites. Those are such detailed sprites. I've never done sprites of that magnitude with car toxes, moving tentacles, and then um, Frizo's chest cannon. The chest cannon and his armor was Mega Man, clearly. The head was a combination of a lot of Mario 2 sprites, including some bad guy sprites like um, Cobra and what have you. For car tox, it was a combination of Toad's head, um, Mouser's ear, a horn from, I think, Resnor or Rex from Mario from Mario World, 
and then just a lot of a lot of work. They're fun and the skull mask and what have you. Those were fun sprites to make. That was a lot of unique and custom and a very original looking things beyond what I normally do. See, now I'm trying to find legs, but I'm looking through any of these sprites and a lot of them don't have a running motion. So I have to go into other sheets that I have. This is a showcase of basically what kind of sprites I have. Um, so let's open up Mega Man. Let's go Plant Man. Nope, it doesn't run. Kind of kind of standard, so I don't forget his actual mission. Gemini Man. These are good ones. I've used these before. So I'm going to grab a portion. You see how many run sprites he has. Three or four. So I'm going to grab the bottom line, the bottom, the bottom portion of each of those for his legs, which I will then use to custom and edit and tweak to get uh, the guard bot's action sequences. Um, so he is a fully mo motive sprite. D delete any of that green, that little background color that we had. See, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. That kind of fits him. Kind of, kind of almost like a charging Chuck in Mario World. Um, do again tweakage. Get rid of any additional stuff. The hand bits you don't want. Some I can't quite do, so I'll have to wait till later on. Um, I'm going to need hands while I'm at it. So let's go through and find any sort of hand sprites. Uh, we'll just need a couple basic ones. You see all those that there are. You want some poses. You want him to have a very limited range of motion with his hands. Uh, and you see there's that little bit there. So we have to fix this. Rotate, tweak, turn. So he has a complete set of feet when he's running in that sprite. Uh, rotate, transparent, tr and transparent. Delete that bit because we're going to fill it in with something else anyway. Work it and a little more deleting. And that looks pretty decent. That looks like a, a proper run sprite. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be pretty good for me using such primitive software. But that's what I use. I've been using this stuff for years now and it... Works out pretty good. Expand the window. We're going to need more room more to work with. This is, again, basically like I, I told you before, a worksheet. This is your worksheet. This will also be where you save the thing, but if you're not done with it, you just save it as a worksheet or save it as a sprite sheet, but then come back and have everything ready. Um, okay, there we go. That looks decent. He's not going to be the full, but I think that's a pretty good, pretty good sprite. And see, we need the other one. So this is other run motion, and then he has his third where he's like the single leg shown. Uh, do some more deleting, tweaking, editing. Move that guy out of the way. Move this down to where it lines up pretty close to where the last one was. I'm not going to do the quick check like with Dr. Carter sprite. Because it's going to be such a fast and one shot only thing. Um, and he's not a human. So robots can have the hydraulics and parts and moving parts, gears and what have you. Grab both of the hands. Like I said, we're gonna, he needs hands. Crop it down to the best as you can. Delete anything you don't want. Backgrounds or additional bits that shouldn't be there. And this is it's not a huge range of motion. He's not the most advanced robot. He just attacks. He's just trying to guard Jolt Tower and prevent Reggie from getting to Professor Vile to save Dr. Kyler. And if you don't know what any of the, those characters are, please check out the Red Director series on this YouTube channel. Um, self emotion. So keep watching. It's kind of fun watching this because I, when I'm doing them, I'm not really thinking of the process. It's so I am. I can't say that. There are pauses in this, which you notice are in real, are left from the real time. I'm not cropping it out because I have to think. Because I, I know what I want. I know I want to make this dude huge. I want to make this dude a functional sprite for the action sequence of the level of the episode. Um, and I got to have, again, that third bit. Double checking, making sure. But see, there's that one little bit. That's his hand. You can see this little blue bit down there is is his hand as his hand is down so we're gonna have to do a little bit of adjustment delete any bit of that that we don't need it's a very very it's a very precision based process I wish I've gotten pretty good at using these and I think outside of that no there's that little bit of a blip right there if you actually if you saw, see it and even though the hand is there. It looks pretty decent. It looks like a pretty respectable product. So we have his three run sprites. Those are the easy ones. All right, let's move that up out of the way. Move, we're going to work on the pose sprites, and they're going to be very basic too. He's not going to have much motion. His arms are really basically only only going to only really only going to move when he gets hit. Line it up again because I got to repeat this just twice because I have these two stand pose sprites, which both may not be used, but I think for the sake of 
this I'll do it just to have a more complete looking sprite sheet. Just line that up there and that's pretty much how it's going to look. Okay, and now we need to get the other one. Because now I want to do, uh, I'm going to do a quick, the hit, when he gets hit, he's going to have a little bit of a flail. So we're going to do, again, the paint bucket in white, the eraser tool in white. Um, basically anything, and then see, he gets hit, and his leg kicks up in the back. Um, and then grab, see, but see, I want different hands. When he gets hit, I want something where his hand, hand is actually up. And we have a couple though. So we have this one where his hand is down. We can flip it around, and therefore it's now uh, too big. 150. Okay, you get rid of that bit because we don't need it. Literally. And then repeat, rotate up, vertical, delete that bit. It's all about putting it in the right spot. I can go there. Line it up. So when it gets hit, it just goes like blam. And then flip. That one goes down. That's a big old, we got, we got, you know, got blasted by Reggie. So there's that, and now we just got to move this guy. We're never going to use those. Sorry about that, teasing you. Um, those are kind of worthless sprites on it, kind of worthless bits anyways. So we have this, we got to repeat this. So I got to delete that part. Move this up here, copy that down. So we have a second post sprite. Again, very limited motion. He's never going to, he's not going to last long anyway. He's only going only gonna to be shown for a few. Um, the guard bot's only going to be in a few portions of it. Come in, taunt Reggie, and then get blasted naturally and delete all those bits. Move that down, move all these guys up. Move that out of the way. I'm trying to line these guys up so we have motion. Move that with the run motion sprites in order, but make sure we have that lined up. And then the other pose goes there. That, 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 those. Now the coloring. All right, so we're doing great. The torso is going to be great, like great armor. It's his battle armor. Um, this is where uh, you, you have all the little white parts, parts you have to color. So don't miss those when you get around to it. Uh, the neck has all those little segments you got to color. We're doing light gray for the highlights. And you got to make sure you get everything precisely using that paint bucket tool. Paint bucket and eraser again. And the and just the, the drag the click the highlight drag tool are the most handy things I will ever find when I'm doing sprite work. I think that looks good. I mean, you can see him running very easily. Uh, and then we're going to do for the little button, his little his little bolt, his little power, whatever. I don't know. I should have colored it red to make it look like a power cell. And then when he gets blasted, it would obviously go off. But I think I could. But for the sake of this, we're keeping it pretty simple. Now we do the arms. His fists are going to be... Um, darker. Meanwhile, his the rest of his hands are going to be a lighter green. And then, yeah. Here we get, we'll cover the rest of his hand, the rest of his arms. Get every little white part. And that's his arms. It's fun, because then you gotta I, gotta I have a very unique looking sprite. Now I gotta recolor it. So it no longer looks like a mesh of, uh, again, no longer, it doesn't look a scrap metally this way. We'll do blue. The head's going to be blue. Many variations, very many shades of blue, but it will be um, not gray, but blue. And so, certainly not 50 of them. Um, a lot of different blues there. The neck, again, will be the next thing. Do the head, the chin, the eyebrows. I'll keep the eyes standard unless I have to recolor them for overlaying and they turn out to be transparent. Uh... And then we'll do the rest of the main part of the head, the white part. I mean, does this look like a Mega Man sprite? Yes, but does it look like something you've seen in a Mega Man game? No, because it's a. Uh, to me, it doesn't anyway. It looks like a pretty unique original sprite. It's like Mega Man. It's like Guard Bot Charge and Chuck or something. Charge Bot or something. So then we do the eyebrows or the uh, the eyelids. So it's a dark blue with some lighter dark blue highlights. And then we do every little one. You have to get all those little freaking squares. And it's royally a pain in the butt. Um, and then we do the the neck. I could have copied this, but I think I'll show you how you, know, you basically 
do it individually to show just it does take work again this is a six sprite sheet ready retro was is about 10 times this um even like car talks was a lot of sprites low bar was a lot of sprites frieza was a quite a few sprites um but for for a baddie bot for a simple uh one hit kill kind of guy get that little bit there that one little pixel that i miscolored initially and then fill all in fill all that stuff in then the chin and then the legs and feet and for the chin we're going to go yeah i like that blue nope okay it's like a blue and then we'll do this. This time we'll do it the easy way. We'll copy. Copy, overlay. And how you test if it works. Perfect. Flawless. That's good. Now this one you gotta rotate. Transparent. Pop that in there. And I, pretty good. Oh, almost had it. No, don't get that part. There, beautiful. And now we finish off the rest of these. Two more to go. It's fun. That looks pretty cool. And then the legs. This is where we do a whole different coloring. Kind of a, a blue and green combo scheme for this guy. Every little bit that was that one color is now this new color. And then we'll do it across all of those standing sprites. So his feet will be one color. And then his legs will be a different color. But then I have those other little portions um, to get filled in. And we'll do those accordingly to a different color so it's multi sprite colored multicolor sprite and then we have that little band we'll make it darker i kind of like the darker that looks good as a good contrast i need music in these don't i um i may add some for this one if not you're listening to utter silence while i'm talking and then we get this little the torso section darker greenish gray and then a little bit more for the remaining pixels. There's not much left now, really. Basically, I'm just filling in what needs to get filled in. And you notice there's that one little light blue area in that stand sprite. And then we just grab those. We're not going to use those ever again. Um, let's let's actually do something real fast. I want to line these up in a in a two by in a two row thing. And then we can pan that, pan that. Zoom and then time to name these guys. Once this slow thing not responding, like every other time I do this, drag down, find a good guard bot, bye, and I can't spell, bye, I say Nathan, and that's how you make custom robots. Save as, no, we're going jolt, jolt guard bots. All right, this is I say Nathan, thank you for watching, and more tutorials coming soon on this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash fear the oracle. Thanks for watching, bye.